It's late, I'm tired, and we are going to Tonga. Lena, <laughs> say something to the camera. She's very talkative. So we're in Nandi Airport in Fiji, and uh, we're meant to be uh, working on the Mulchnov's education materials. And uh, I'm working, I'm working hard, but um, look what's going on here. My computer? Alexi's computer. <laughs> so, it's the first morning in Tonga, and uh, I am jet lagged. <laughs> so, I've not been awake since like four in the morning. And uh, here is the sunrise. It's like a, a local rugby team or something like that uh, training on the wharf here. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. How are we all doing? What do we what do we have for breakfast on our first day of whale diving? Curry. <laughs> Curry. Curry <Curried> sausage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Watermelon. Watermelon. Breakfast for champions. Of course. Oats. Always eat oats for breakfast. So welcome to English lesson lessons with uh, Elena Katoshka. So, Elena. What animal are we diving with today? Make sure you kitty. Hmm? Kitty? Kitty! kitty. <laughs> gearing up, getting ready to go, and uh, we're, we're pretty keen. There's a lot of bugs going on right now. Hi! We were already geared up and ready to go before we really spotted our first whale. And when we did, they weren't super keen on swimming with us. The first whales that we saw were on their way somewhere else, and they just passed by and swam off. It was incredible, but we didn't get close enough to have the experience that we really wanted. But very quickly we found our first mother and calf. This was exciting. They were swimming so slowly, so comfortably. They didn't mind us there. They seemed very comfortable with our presence. The camera doesn't quite show just how big they are. You don't get the feeling of how monstrous and epic they are in the water. You are the only person who has you If you throw away your plans You will go very far We headed to a remote little island for lunch and it was just us all alone in the world in this tiny little island Alexi is no longer a professional freediver, he is now a full-time Instagram husband. Yep, yep, there he goes again. Being a dutiful, professional Instagram husband. When we got back on the boat, we stumbled across four or five male whales, 
all swimming and competing against each other in a display of dominance. It was incredible. The whales would race each other and then one whale would swim in front and cut ahead of the other whales, causing them to rear their heads up out of the water to stop her to avoid a collision. It was, it was incredible to see these huge, huge 25 ton whales swimming and racing each other. It wouldn't have been safe to get into the water with them, so we just watched it from the boat. On our way back home in the shallows near the island, where the visibility wasn't very good, we found another mother and calf, and they were beautiful. They were quite calm, and this mother was the biggest whale we saw of the day. She was huge. Dan, how'd you go, mate? How was your first day with the whales? Oh, it went really well. It was possibly the best day of my life. Actually? Actually the best day of my life. That's sick. Really, really happy. Oh, good. So we just um, got back from the boat. Uh, I had a shower. These guys don't smell like they've had a shower. Um, and now we're going out to a restaurant in town called Friends Cafe because we're friends. We had good business this morning. Same. Let's check what food I have a drink. So here you have Russian table, and we have a strawberry milkshake. We have English breakfast tea. We have coconut. Oh, I believe we have a Coke over there. And Coke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Fine. And then we have. <laughs> A lot of beer. That's just the breaking myth about Russian and alcohol. The only reason why they're not drinking is because there's no vodka on the island. Our second day on the boat was rough. There was a strong wind and it was very, very choppy. And just when we thought all hope was lost, there were two beautiful sub-adults, a male and a female. And as we jumped in the water, they turned around and started swimming with us, playing with us, completely interacting with us. They seemed curious or, or interested in what we, what we were doing. When I imagined swimming with whales, I, I never imagined that the whales would be interested in swimming with us. I never imagined that they would be so playful. This is by far the greatest diving experience of my life. And we were all just so frantic, swimming up and down. No one had any time to breathe or prepare for a dive. It was just pure, frenzied, beautiful madness. Now I'm all alone And I know I'm far from home Now I'm on my way I know that I'll get there someday And I know that I'll get there someday Your best whale puns. Welcome, welcome to the Tonga. Whale, whale, whale. What do we have here? Whale, hello there. Whale, good morning. Whale, are you doing? That's enough. Kill. Did you have fun today? I had a really good time. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
All right, who is excited for Wales? <laughs> All right, let's try that again. <laughs> who is excited for Wales? <laughs> so we have two boats that we're using while we're here. We have the, uh, the wet boat, which is this boat over here, and we have the dry boat, which is this boat over here. And uh, we take turns going back and forth, so today is our day on the dry boat. And uh, we are loving, we are loving life. <laughs> They're leaving without Alexi. They left. They le goodbye, goodbye, everyone. <laughs> yeah, come back. I'm gonna be alright. I've you been caught okay. in time. Here we go. I want you to know that I love you. At first this adult female wasn't really interested in swimming with us and so I swam down next to her and started spinning in circles and when she saw that she must have developed some kind of interest because she spun back and then she stayed and hung around with us and swam with us for about 30 minutes. That's the truly incredible thing about swimming with humpback whales is that they fully engage with you, they play back, they communicate with you. It's um. It's quite emotional, to be honest. By the way, if you are keen to come and dive with these humpback whales with us next year in 2019, we have trips running in August. Send me a message if you're interested, or we'll put a link in the description below. Alright, we just got out of the water, we were diving with, uh, was it a sub-adult? Yeah. Oh, yeah. An adult. Sorry? An adult! A beautiful big adult whale. And he or she, she, she was super <laughs> playful and it was epic. So then, so then we're out there and we've all had a good swim with it and this other boat just comes in hot and scares the bloody whale away. You can see uh, the body language just change the second it gets in. And then I get on the, the radio, which I didn't know was public, and start screaming and swearing my head off at this other boat and it turns out they heard everything. <laughs> we stopped in for lunch at yet another beautiful, remote, tropical island that we had all to ourselves. Every day we'd been having lunch at a different island and it was, it was magic, absolute magic. On the fourth day, the wind had really picked up, so it was going to make it almost impossible to find any whales, and it would mean that we'd just spend seven hours out on the water getting beaten to hell by the weather. So we found ourselves a nice little calm spot tucked in behind an island and spent the day doing a little bit of freediving training, a little bit of exploration, a little bit of swimming around on the reef. It was really nice. I mean, any kind of diving where you have crystal clear 40 meter visibility is just a day well spent or a dive well spent. So, so I've actually got to call this trip early and go home. Um, basically, Erin Erin was uh, three months pregnant, and uh, we just well, she just was well, she was in Australia and she just went and had her 12 week scan, and it turns out that the baby actually stops developing at about eight weeks. So it's um, nothing's been going on for the past four weeks, so you know, we didn't know. So we've uh, we've had a miscarriage and. Um, yeah, so, so obviously like, this, this trip is going to go on for a bit longer, but I've got to, got to go home and uh, go be with my lady and uh, recoup. And yeah, so I'll see you in, uh, see you in Sydney.
This video was made possible because of our patrons. Learn how you can support us and get access to the world's most complete freediving manual by clicking here. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and you might want to check out this video because I think you will like it.